Hi everyone, this is Jason. I wanted to share with you this neat trick that I learned recently on how to merge two masks in PixInsight. So you might be aware that PixInsight only allows you to have one mask active at any time. Uh, and for the most part, that works out pretty well. However, there are times when you're dealing with a high dynamic range target like M27, the Dumbbell Nebula here, which has a very bright core and this faint area of gas on the outside and you're trying to bring out the detail in both. Uh, and doing that with only one mask can be problematic. So here, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. This is an image from earlier in processing. This is a starless image and you can see I've already got the core pretty well defined uh, and if you look very closely you can see that faint gas in this outer area that I'm also trying to bring out the detail. So if I was to do that with the histogram transformation tool uh, and dragging my slider to the left, you can see that as the entire image gets brighter, I eventually get to a point where I'm getting that detail in that gaseous area that I'm looking for, but my background is also uh, brighter than I want and I've completely blown out the core. So normally you would uh, deal with something like this by applying a mask to uh, protect the core so you don't blow it out. So let's give that a try. I've got one here and we'll apply that. Whoops. Try that again. There we go. Okay. And let's uh, make it visible to check. Okay, so I actually want to have this inverted because right now it's protecting the background and I want to protect the core. So let me invert that, make it invisible, and bring up my real-time preview, move my slider again, and you can see there's the detail I wanted. My core is protected, but my background is still uh, getting way too bright. I don't want that. So uh, let's remove that and go to a mask that covers the entire nebula. And now we, we hit that problem that I talked about. We already have one mask on here. And to uh, if I try to bring this mask over, rather than, than them both being active, effectively what's happened is that the second one replaced the first. Because again, you can only have one mask active at a time. So let's take a look to see what happens when we use this one. So we'll drag our slider. And there is that detail that we're looking for. Our background is protected, but again, I'm blowing out the core. Okay, so what I really need to do is have two masks active at once. I can't do that, but what I can do is I can merge two masks. So let me close this and uh, show you how we merge masks. So go under process, go to pixel math, and you merge masks by multiplying them. And so I've got uh, this mask that protects the core uh, that's just named range mask. And I want to merge that with this mask that protects um, uh, the, uh, basically I'm going to be using this to protect the background because I'm going to invert this mask and then protecting the background with this one. So I want to multiply these. But to invert this mask, I need to use a tilde symbol. So tilde is that squiggly little line. The key is usually in the upper left hand corner of your keyboard. So I do tilde range mask and I multiply this by the second one. So range mask one and let's uh, create a new image and we'll execute and you can see what I ended up with is this kind of a funky looking donut where I've got the uh, inverted mask here in the middle and then the uh, second mask here. So let's go ahead and apply that. Uh, minimize and move that out of the way. Bring up our real-time preview and see what happens when we move our slider now. There we go. We're getting only the detail that we were looking for. Just the uh, that faint outer gaseous area is now getting brighter uh, our core is protected and our background is protected. So um, it's like using two masks at the same time, uh, but we're still only using one mask. We just merged two masks into a new one. Um, and we did it through pixel math. So I'll put the equation uh, for that into uh, the description. And uh, I, hope, uh, I hope this works out for you. Clear skies.